This is our 30th year of celebrating the Holiday Cottage and really the intent of the cottage is to make sure that every foster child who is out of their home setting um, for the holidays has a Christmas gift on Christmas morning. I am beyond grateful for the amount of people that help us out, especially foster youth during the holidays. Most of us do not have our families and it's really hard for us this time of the year. So for you to donate something or be a part of us brings smiles to my heart. It shows how beautiful humans can be. I am truly honored to have been chosen to speak today. Yes, as a child, I was separated from my parents because of their poor choices, but that doesn't stop me from achieving all the goals I have set for myself. And I say today, I am very thankful for those who continue to support me. You know, you just you just heard a foster child speak. When they can't be at home, it's it's like having a little a little slice of a blessing, really, to have listed something that was a wish. And I'll tell you, the children's wishes are they're very modest. They ask for a doll, a stuffed toy, um, art supplies. They're far more modest than people might think. Some of them are very simple, basic, um, a teddy bear or a baby doll. Um, they're not all big gifts. There are some more expensive gifts, but um, there's something for everybody that um, would help out a, a child on Christmas. There's a different voluntary group that that comes in and works all 15 days. There's a different volunteer group that works, and they work in shifts. And the partnership this year is incredible with um, the donation here at the village of the location, and then Home Depot coming in and totally transforming taking the ceiling out, the floor out, painting, and putting a, a frontage in so it looked like you're walking into a home. Our participation in this event was transforming the space so that it looks like Santa's house. And so when people come in to fulfill a wish for foster children, they can see that it really does look like Santa lives here and get everyone into the holiday spirit. So all of the team that you see here, every single one of these people, were very key in getting the space transformed. So installing floors, building walls, painting walls, just everything. Everything that you see. And then IKEA totally furnished the home. And the young um, lady that you heard speak, the foster child that you heard speak a little earlier, she's actually the benefactor of every stitch of that furniture. I was super surprised, honestly. I wanted to cry because I just feel like it's high class. And from what I, what I come from, I've always felt like I was in the lower level. And I think I'm just super proud of how far I've come. And it's like I said, it's an honor. She's getting her own apartment quickly. She's working full time. She's going to school full time. My goals for the future is I'm thinking probation or a police officer. After I graduate from BC, I'm thinking also of doing two more years at CSUB. Um, and so she's one of our success stories of our foster children. And this helps her out just a little bit to know that she's going to be able to go into a fully furnished apartment because of IKEA. So the generosity of, of our community is incredible. Folks just keep giving and giving.